There is only one way to get a democracy on its feet, and that is by keeping the public informed. Joseph Pulitzer has an idea that newspapers ought to be short and smart and snappy. All of a sudden, here comes Pulitzer saying that news is really about what happens to ordinary people, about people just like you. Here's this two-dimensional medium of paper and ink. How can we make it leap into a third dimension? Pulitzer helped convince Americans that they had to become a nation of newspaper readers. The day was not complete without the paper. Pulitzer dreamed of becoming a soldier and propelled himself into the midst of America's defining conflict. Like other immigrant recruits, Pulitzer, a penniless Jewish immigrant from Hungary, took the place of wealthy draft-dodging Americans. Pulitzer is one of these extraordinary immigrants who becomes more American than the native born, has an extraordinary ambition, and I think an anger. Joseph was an unstoppable workaholic, a man who walked into a revolving door behind you, yet somehow emerged in front of you. There is room for a journal that is truly democratic, that will expose all fraud and sham, fight all public evils and abuses, that will serve and battle for the people with earnest sincerity. It was almost a religious belief in democracy. It was a world of print, and the master of that world was Pulitzer. Every day, I wish we had a Pulitzer who would do whatever he had to do to get the story, to nail the scoundrels, and would use every means towards that end. A journalist is the lookout on the bridge of the ship of state. He is there to watch over the safety and the welfare of the people who trust him.